I don't know if you can see these, but I'm pretty sure we need a termite treatment. So you found that house that you're just falling in love with. This is the house for you. You love it. You gotta have it. So you write the offer. You get it accepted. Congratulations. Woohoo! But when you're going along through the inspection time, one of the reports that gets done called a CL100 comes back stating there's termites. <gasps> what should you do? Here's the deal, guys. Here in South Carolina, termites are a somewhat rather common thing to find happen. Um, it is not uncommon when a report comes back for it to state that there are termites found or wood destroying organisms at the property. When that happens though, you shouldn't freak out. I grew up in Pennsylvania. We didn't really have termites as an issue up there. Instead, we had other issues and headaches like radon. Ugh. But what we have down here is termites. I call termites the radon of the south. Here where I live in Myrtle Beach, the soil is very sandy. So we don't normally have issues with things like radon. But because it's a warm, moist climate, what it does do is it attracts bugs. Bugs like to get in that soil. It's super easy to dig tunnels through it, get around, and you're gonna find things like termites. Um, our current house that we have right now, uh, earlier this year we were doing some yard work, and as we were getting the flower beds ready to put in new mulch, my wife was digging to put a plant in the ground and she sent me this video. I don't know if you can see these, but I'm pretty sure we need a termite treatment. Yeah, we had termites at our house. So because I'm in real estate, I deal with this all the time. I didn't freak out, my wife didn't freak out. In fact, my brother owns a pest control company up in Ohio and I sent it to him. He said, yeah, you definitely have termites. And so we simply took the next steps we need to take care of the problem. We called up a pest control company. They came out, they looked at the video, they did a little digging around and said, yes, Jeremy, you do have termites that are near your house. They were not into the house yet, thank goodness. So they weren't eating wood and eating on my house. If I had not treated the property at the time and took care of this problem, within probably another four to five months, I would have had termites in the garage eating on that wall of the house and it would have caused more issues. However, because I got it treated right away, most termite treatment packages, you're looking maybe a thousand to fifteen hundred dollars to take care of it. So it's not like you're spending a ton of money to get these things handled. But I simply had the house treated. They came, you can see here's some video of them doing the treatment around the house. Now, because we have this giant front porch, as well as a lot of concrete along the back of the house, it was a little more work because they had to drill. Now, in South Carolina, here at the beach where houses are being built, normally these houses sit on a four to six inch concrete slab with steel rebar. So when they go to put in the treatment, what they have to do is use this really long drill and drill through every foot or so into the concrete. Then they come back after the fact and they take the long, you can see here the long chemical treatment, they're gonna take it, stick it down in the hole and they're going to shoot out the treatment or pesticide to kill off the termites and also make a barrier along the house to keep any from ever coming past that into the home. And what it does, you can see, um, this nozzle that's on the end of it, actually what it does is it shoots out almost like a plus. So it shoots up, down, and side to side underneath in the ground. And it has pretty good pressure. So it shoots at probably a good six to 12 inches in there. So it's creating this wall barrier of treatment chemicals to keep the termites and other bugs from coming any closer to the foundation of the house. If not, what's gonna happen is those bugs will find any crack, crevice that they can, and they're gonna come up through it towards the wood. They're gonna get to that wood, and they're gonna start eating on it in one of your rooms. And you may have it where it's on a windowsill then, or in the studs, or those types of things. If it happens where they get into the house, it's still not a big deal. You simply get a good handyman to come in, take care of it. They're going to pull out any and all of the rotted wood or infested wood and replace it with new pieces. Get the new drywall put over top of it if needed. 
sand it, put it down, and you're good to go brand new. Um, now, with this termite treatment, one of the things that they shared with me is I have a lifetime guarantee. So every single year, moving forward now on my house, they're going to come back, they're going to treat the house, make sure that everything is good to go. And, you know, as long as I didn't do anything to destroy that barrier that they put in place, meaning tearing it up and putting new concrete down or digging up where they did it in the dirt and putting concrete down there or putting an addition on or something like that, it's going to have a lifetime warranty on my house that I should never have to worry about seeing those bugs again. Every year they'll come back, I'll pay them a fee, they'll do a quick assessment around the house, make sure everything's good to go, and we move forward. So, if you start to see termites, don't freak out. The other thing that I, it's a funny thing I'll share with it is this, after the treatment is done, don't be surprised if the next few days after that, even inside your house, you find some dead bugs. They're spraying a very powerful treatment that's going to kill basically anything that might be near. And so any bugs that might have made it on the other side of that barrier, they don't have the ability to go back out into the yard. They're going to have to try to escape up through the house and they're not going to make it very far. They're going to die. Uh, it's funny, my five-year-old, she had a, a spider come up in her room. Dad, there's a spider! You know, it's not that big. It was dead. We took care of it, cleaned it up. On we go with the day. So what are some other things you should know about termites here in South Carolina? One of the things is this. Termites are everywhere. Uh, my dad used to tell me this, that he had spoken with a gentleman who was a professor at Clemson University in South Carolina. And this gentleman told me, said, Dennis, here's the deal. There is not one square foot of termite free ground in all of South Carolina. Think about that. If you were to go and dig a square one foot section of dirt in your yard, you're gonna find at least one in there. They're everywhere, they're here. The question is, are they eating at your house or are they eating at your neighbor's house? If you have your home treated, you don't have to worry about that anymore. Um, that spray that they put down said will last longer than the house will. So I don't have to worry about in three to five years it come uh, wear out and all of a sudden they come back. And if I do start to see one, I simply call them. They're going to come back out, retreat the house, and we'll be good to go again. So some other things with termites that you might want to know. You don't want to give them the stuff that attracts them to the house. So first thing, if your house has some wood that's rotting, um, you know, my home on the side, we had a side door, and the piece of wood underneath the threshold was starting to rot and was had a lot of moisture in that piece of wood because there's no overhang there. So when it rains, it beats down on the concrete and it seeps up into that piece of wood. It's kind of a common thing with, with a side door garage like that. So I simply had that piece of wood removed, put a new fresh piece in, because if not, that rotted wood is something that will attract them. So one of the things you might want to do is walk around your house on a somewhat regular basis and just look. See if you find a piece of wood that looks like it might have a little rotting going on it. Seems a little soft. You can do simple things like carry around a pocket knife or a screwdriver or even just your key and just simply tap. Now, you're not going to push real hard or you'll still go through it, but a simply tap on places that might look a little funny. And if it goes in, you have wood rot. If so, either cut the piece of wood off yourself and replace it with a new piece, put paint over top of it and you're good or hire a handyman to come out. They have all the right tools to cut the part that's rotted off, put the new piece over top, and you'll be good to go and not have to worry about it. So that's number one. Number two, you don't want to do anything that might attract termites to come along. What do I mean by that? Don't put a pile of wood right next to your foundation. You know, we just bought a fire pit a few weeks ago, and we have some wood that we've collected to use in the fire pit. And some of it needs time to dry out and age so that it'll burn right. My kids wanted to just stack it up right next to the house and I explained to them, no, we're not doing that. You don't wanna put it right next to the house because that is just an attraction saying to the termites and other bugs and other wood destroying organisms as they're called to come up, eat on this wood right next to our house and let's have a heyday with it. We don't want that. So if you're gonna have wood for a fire pit or a fireplace, simply stack it away from the house. Put it out in the backyard near a fence, 
put it on the side near something, but not right up next to the foundation. If so, you're just asking for those things to happen. Some other things, don't put things right next to your house that are going to hold moisture and cause hot, warm, wet type of environment. Those types of things are going to attract bugs very, very quickly. So if you take those simple three things, put them into practice and get your house treated on a somewhat regular basis, you shouldn't have to worry about termites here. And if your house does have it or you're buying one and it says that it does, don't freak out. That is the number one thing that I can say is don't freak out. You simply get the house treated and taken care of. Now, some other things that you might want to check out on the inside of your house if you might have termites coming. You're going to start to see these little tubes or trailers that are going to start to form along maybe the brick on the inside of the garage or the concrete or inside on a baseboard. We're going to see these little black tubes start to form. And what those are is that's the waste, I think, from what I've been told, of the termites. When you start to see those things, you more than likely have an infestation in the house. Um, sometimes that gets caused by trash being left in a garage. I had a, a townhouse I recently sold where the tenants moved out and left all their trash in the garage, including food and everything else. And what that did was it attracted the termites. They came in, they were along the garage wall having a feast. So you don't want to do those kinds of things either. But watch for those little trailer tubes. If you start to see them, that's a good sign. Also, number two, like I said, take that screwdriver, take keys, a pocket knife, and just tap along. If you see an area that looks a little soft or squishy or it's bubbled, that's another sign. So if you see any of those things, you might have termites. And the ultimate best thing to do is call a professional, get the pest control company out there immediately to check it out, test things, and take care of it. And the best thing you can do after the fact is keep that annual service intact, paying that small fee each and every year to have the house reinspected, tested, and make sure that you're termite-free moving forward. So hopefully you guys found value in this today. I'm Jeremy Blant with Remax Southern Shores. If you enjoyed this, hey, do me a favor, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and I'll catch you in the next one. Talk to you later, bye-bye.